After many long years of anticipation, Final Fantasy VII Remake is finally out now, and it's exactly as good as we'd all hoped it would be. It is, typically enough, also very mechanically dense, especially from a combat perspective. And going into it for the first time, all the systems you have to get to grips with might prove to be a bit overwhelming. Don't worry, though. Here, we've compiled 15 tips and tricks that should help you get up to speed with the game's fundamentals pretty quickly. So without further ado, let's get started. And let's start with a few pointers about one of the game's most crucial systems, Materia. Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. You can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Don't sell Materia. You'll be getting materia from a lot of different sources in Final Fantasy VII Remake, and you'll be getting them quite frequently, so it's inevitable that you might end up with some or many dupes. Do not, however, sell those dupes. Not until you can be positive that you can get that materia again easily whenever you want. Equipping multiple characters with the same materia can be quite advantageous, especially if they provide useful buffs or abilities, or if the spells attached to them can help you get through tough boss fights. So it's actually not a bad thing to have multiple of the same materia in your inventory. Equipping Materia Materia don't just let you cast spells or help you learn new abilities. As mentioned earlier, they can also give you unique buffs or other passive advantages, which can be vital during combat, especially boss fights. For instance, equipping a Thunder Materia to your armor can make you more resistant to that element. Essentially, you don't just want to be swapping Materia in and out based on whether your stats are going up. You need to be paying close attention to the actual effects of the Materia as well. And that actually brings us to our next point. Point. Materia Builds each character has their own unique strengths and weaknesses, so something else that you should keep in mind while equipping Materia to them is that they cater to their strengths. Cloud is a frontline attacker, so you want to keep his health and strength stats up. Barret is a ranged fighter and naturally resilient to physical attacks, so with him, you want to focus on HP and defense. Aerith is a healing specialist, so focusing on elemental stats and max MP is a great fit for her. Meanwhile, Tifa is an up-close melee specialist, so focusing on her speed and attack is the best way forward for her. Spell Materia when it comes to spell materia, you need to put some thought into what each of your party members have equipped. For starters, it's best to have each and every one of your party members be equipped for healing materia, for obvious reasons. When your chips are down, you don't want to rely on just one character with healing spells. From a more attack-centered perspective, make sure that your party collectively covers all element types. Most stronger enemies and bosses are weak to at least one of these, so you want to make sure that you have at least someone in your party that has the required magic attacks. Deadly Dodge Deadly Dodge is one of the most useful defensive materia you'll get in the game. Thankfully, you also get it pretty early on. Once a character has Deadly Dodge equipped, they can perform the titular move, which allows them to unleash an area of effect physical attack after pulling off a dodge. It strikes a great balance between offense and defense, so it's a good idea to make use of this in battles. Equipping either Cloud or Tifa, or preferably both, with this materia is ideal. Parry this is another very useful defensive materia that you're going to want to equip your characters with, especially those focused on melee attacks like Cloud and Tifa. While Cloud can parry in Punisher mode, parrying isn't something that characters in Final Fantasy VII Remake can do by default, except if they're equipped with the parry materia. The advantages here are obvious. While combat is also a lot more fun when you can parry attacks with perfectly timed blocks, so it's a win-win all around. Steadfast Block Another pretty useful defensive materia is Steadfast Block, but it's more of a risk-reward situation here, unlike something like Parry or Deadly Dodge. With Steadfast Block, the amount of damage you take while blocking is increased, but you also fill up your ATB gauge faster. While that's not ideal all the time, it does come in handy during fights against bosses or other enemies that are harder to take down. Assess 
Not too far into the game, you'll get the Assess Materia, which, as its name suggests, allows you to assess enemies and learn about their weaknesses and resistances. That by itself would be enough to encourage you to assess any enemy you come across, but there are other advantages as well. How many enemies you've assessed, and which enemies you've assessed, is also a factor in some side missions, which yield some pretty useful rewards. So make sure you don't ignore this ability. Using Multiple Items there will be times when you want to heal a character, but a single potion or ether just isn't going to cut it. Thankfully, rather than using items one at a time, you can use multiple units of an item together. When in the items menu, just hold L1 while using items to use them repeatedly. It's a real time saver and can be pretty handy in tight situations. Weapon Upgrades Final Fantasy VII Remake also allows you to upgrade your weapons. Each time you level up, you gain SP, which is what you spend for weapon upgrades, but each of your weapons get SP, not just a single one. Meanwhile, any new weapons you purchase also get previous SP they might have missed out on, so make sure to keep checking in with your weapons to upgrade them. And since each weapon gains SP, you can also experiment with them freely to see which one suits you best without sacrificing any progression. Keep enemies in range. The ATB gauge is your bread and butter in Final Fantasy VII Remake's combat, and one of the things you'll be spending it on is abilities. While using these, make sure your targets are actually in range or your attacks won't land and you'll have wasted your ATB. It's not an issue for some abilities, but others, like Cloud's Braver for instance, need your enemy to be in range. Otherwise, you'll just be unleashing a really flashy move on nothing but air. Stagger Bosses Staggering is something else that'll be really, really useful when fighting against bosses, mini-bosses, or enemies with more health such as shock troopers or guard dogs. In fact, in many cases, it's pretty much essential. When an enemy is staggered, they take a lot more damage, while attacks they are weak to can be flat-out lethal, and so you should focus on getting them to that stage. You can fill up their pressure gauges more quickly by making use of stronger abilities or spells. The Steadfast Block Materia is pretty useful for this, since it helps fill up your ATB gauge faster, while attacking with Cloud's Punisher mode is also a neat trick to stagger enemies when they're pressured more quickly. Don't ignore side quests. You might be tempted to ignore side quests in Final Fantasy VII Remake and just stick with the critical path, but don't do it. Not only are many side quests great from a narrative standpoint, but with how much they contribute to world building and the way they help flesh out characters, they can also yield some really, really useful rewards, such as materia, weapon upgrades, or at times even summons and limit breaks. Discoveries Side quests are just some of many optional activities that can lead to useful rewards. There are also discoveries. These are areas in the map that are inaccessible where you need to fulfill certain requirements to get through. You might be tempted to just ignore these and move on, especially since they're more often than not optional. But you get some pretty useful stuff, such as materia, for completing these objectives. Combat Arena Speaking of limit breaks, while they're not used very often during combat, they can be very useful when you do use them, and Don Corneo's combat arena is a great place to get more of them. Completing challenges in this arena will net you with more usable limit breaks, and it's a good idea to invest time into them. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, please hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to switch on the notifications bell icon next to it. That way you'll never miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching.